Next Tech Student Council meeting today, same time, same place. We'll see you guys there. Um, also, this was a really thoughtful idea proposed by uh, Mr. Fink's path group. We're going to have a giant piece of paper put up in the corner of the library with uh, a couple boxes of markers. Um, you guys can write anything to Krista Brockman. Most of you know her. She did wake up from her coma. Um, you know, she can walk now and move a little bit, uh, but she's still trying to regain her vocal skills. But uh, I'm sure that she'd appreciate uh, this gift from us. Remember to keep your messages appropriate. Even if you don't know her, I guess you can write. Uh, I don't know you, but I hope you get better. <laughs> so they'll be in the corner of the library. It'll be up for a while. But, yeah. uh, on, a, on another note, JSA Winter Congress checks. Please bring those in if you have not already. Uh, the deadline's coming up very soon, so do that. Good morning. Um, nobody said good morning back. Good morning. Good morning. and we'll get back around five. Please remember to bring in your permission slips and um, your, your money or your checks for me. Um, and you need money for a lunch or you can bring a sack lunch. Um, and see me at some point today to let me know what your preference is for what we do in the afternoon. Thanks. Top of the morning. So by Friday of this week, uh, we're gonna post uh, sign-ups for spring sports by tomorrow sometime. And by Friday, I'd like to have every able-bodied athlete that's planning on doing a sport this spring sign up. I need to know those numbers and what's going on with the various teams so I can facilitate to get people where they need to go and meet their coaches and do all that sort of thing. And what's gonna happen with spring sports is gonna be sort of a gradual transition depending on the sport. And what I'll do is, once I find out who's on those respective teams, I'll make sure that you get information about when they're going to start. For example, swimming is going to start next Monday, as an example. Some other sports will start a bit later. So that's, so that's really imperative that you sign up by Friday. Okay? Thank you very much. I'm calling all poets and wordsmiths. Mr. Michael McLaughlin, our visiting poet, is back on campus today, fourth period from 12 to 1. If you have a free period or if you are eligible to be excused from a class, you can join us uh, for another poetry writing workshop, 12 to 1, uh, roommate after lunch today. See you there. Thanks. Pursuit Expo, the service learning workshop at CSUMB has changed the date to sometime in April, I think April 8th. So if you were planning on going, we're not going on Friday the 8th, and I will make announcements again as a time approaches in case somebody else wants to join us. Thank you. thing I ever heard Roberto say. Now, I suppose when you're buying a dog, it's not all about the money, but more about choosing the right dog. Now, I knew I wanted a Sharpay after I learned about Roberto and how he happened to be selling Sharpays while I was on a trip visiting my grandpa. Now, I had spoken with my parents and they said on the last day of the trip, we were going to visit Roberto. And, well, they also said it was okay if we brought back a pup. So, Instead of spending my time with my grandpa, I spent the whole trip researching Sharpays. And what I found was horrible. For, for, for example, one of the facts was a Sharpay is so strong and intelligent that they're capable, if trained properly, that is, of hunting lions. <laughs> yeah, hunting lions. Uh, and I also looked up their common health issues, and I found out that um, a Sharpay turns out to be a veterinarian's dream dog. Yeah. I mean, people have spent thousands of dollars trying to keep these things breathing. It's, it's ridiculous. And, uh, these were only a handful of the facts that almost scared me away from buying a dog. Uh, it was until I spoke to my grandma. So, we had just come back from a party, and I was in charge of handing him all his medication before he fell asleep. And, well, just like the night before, he had me looking around for a little bottle of ibuprofen. And when I found it, I came back and said, Hey, Grandpa, what do you know about Sharpay's? He just looked at me and said, I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> so I, was, I just said, oh, uh, well, it's a type of stinky dog. Again, he just looked at me and stared at me and said, 
aren't bulldogs sticky? <laughs> he got me there and I, I, I just said, well, Grandpa, I only brought it up because uh, I was wondering if, if I should buy the dog or not. I mean, I really like this breed, but I really don't know if, uh, if the, bro the problems uh, will affect how much I love it. Uh, well, my grandpa just said, as he stared at me again, George, if there's something I want you to know, it's that I've lived a very long time. And I've lived it doing everything that I want to do. And that makes me happy. Now, I think you should go, because I need to go to bed. <laughs> so I left. I left, but I left thinking more clearly about my problem. And I knew what I wanted. I just wanted a dog. I wanted something to love and to care for. And, and it, would, it was something that would make a 13-year-old boy the happiest kid of life. It didn't have to be a sharp, sharp hay. It could have been a, a toy poodle, a, a Labrador, a Chihuahua. Maybe not a Chihuahua. No, <laughs> no discriminating, a Chihuahua. But, so the next day, I met up with Roberto, made the exchange, and I got my dog. I named him Boligrippo, which means pen in Spanish. And I've had him for two years now, and I can tell you that he cannot kill a lion. <laughs> uh, besides that, I've also become a regular face at my veterinarian's office. They call me Money Boy, because um, <laughs> I visit very frequently. Uh, and this, I guess, I love my dog, but th there's just one problem with him. He's very stinky. <laughs> but I guess, like my grandpa said, aren't all dogs stinky? <laughs> But if you have 
signed up, you need to talk to your B-Day period one and two teachers because you are going to be missing B-Day period one and two. That's Tuesday, February 5th, and I need you at the theater by 8.15 if possible. Thank you. Consequently, we have a meeting tomorrow. We're going to be setting up our code repository and dealing with design issues. So please, at least everybody who's interested in coding, please come. Thank you. Hi, I'm Melissa. And I'm Maris. And we're from the eighth grade class. And on Monday at lunch, we're going to have a bake sale in the quad. So there's going to be a lot of yummy stuff, so bring your money. Yeah, and happy um, birthday, Isabel Stanford. Woo!